For the second time this week, Governor Cooper and the state's coronavirus task force are going to be giving us another update. It airs at 3 o'clock this afternoon. That's right, and we will have it for you live right here on CBS 17 and streaming online and the CBS 17 News app. Well, the House will vote today on a bill requiring all K-12 through public schools to reopen. It's a bill that has support from both sides of the aisle. That's something a lot of parents have been mm -hmm. wondering about, too. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway live right now in Raleigh with what exactly is included in that bill and when kids would be back in the classroom. That is, if it passes. Joseph. Uh, again, if it passes. Now, Bill Liz, the Senate actually passed that bill unanimously on Wednesday, so now it moves on today to the House for a vote. Democratic Governor Roy Cooper and Republican leaders in the, in the General Assembly announced that agreement on Wednesday. Now, this bill requires grades K through 5 to open under Plan A, which is the least restrictive social distancing plan, and middle and high school student, students, or excuse me, middle and high schools would have to open at least under Plan B, which calls for six feet of distance. Families would still have the remote learning option if they do not feel comfortable being back in the classroom just yet. If if this bill becomes law, schools would have three weeks to comply with what's required. Live in Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.